name is Dr. Stephen Robleski. I have the privilege of serving as a superintendent of LaSalle Group Township High School. I want to welcome you to this month's Virtual Renaissance Student of the Month program. This month's program is sponsored by the LP Athletic Booster Club. I want to thank the Booster Club and its volunteer members for their many years of support to not only the Renaissance program, but especially to our student athletes and our coaches. And thank you to Central Bank Illinois for their sponsorship of a $50 gift card that will be presented to one of our students. I want to recognize Mrs. Jean Gantz and Mrs. Andrea Eichelkraut for the leadership that they provide as sponsors of the Renaissance program. And I want to thank Mr. Matt Baker for producing today's video. And thank you to our teachers and our staff members for everything that you do to inspire our students to be more than what they see in themselves. And lastly, thank you to the parents and the support, care, and love that you provide to your sons and daughters, and especially the support that you've been able to provide LP High School and our staff as we work together uh, through, through the pandemic. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. So thank you again for watching today's program. Please enjoy. I chose Ashley Urbanski as the student of the month for AP Psychology because she is not only a very good student academically, but she is always very pleasant to be around. Um, I would say she has a smile on her face, except I can't see it with the mask, but I think she does. Um, <clears throat> she is always more than willing to participate online or in the classroom, and I think she will be a great student in the future um, as she plans to go on to college. My name is Michelle Honecker Ummel, and this month I am nominating the Renaissance Student of the Month for the English Department. This month I am nominating senior Emily Tran, who was a student in my college prep English class last semester, and I'm so proud at what she accomplished, especially considering the challenges of remote learning. This class was also the first time that Emily had taken an English class that was not for English language learners. She put so much effort into making sure that she was understanding the text that we were reading and also that her writing was following all of the English grammar rules. She would never hesitate to ask a question in class or request a Google Meet in the afternoon, which were always moments filled with a lot of teaching and learning and if you know Emily laughter thank you Emily for allowing me the opportunity to get to know you um, I will definitely miss you in our talks second semester I wish you the best of luck wherever life leads you My name is Christine Tysinger and I'm the German teacher at LP High School. For my January Student of the Month, I have nominated Jocelyn Thomas. Jocelyn is a wonderful student to have in class. She comes to class with a bright attitude, whether we are in person or if we are learning remote. She is always excited to learn and will volunteer answers for the class. She asks thought-provoking questions that are engaging for myself and for the other students. Jocelyn is a joy to have in class. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Hi, my name is Julie Jenkins and I'm the art teacher here at LP. Um, this month, I would like to recognize Elena Stashek um, as the student of the month. Elena is an outstanding student who's an artist who is passionate about learning. She seeks out advice and guidance to achieve her artistic goals. I know Elena to be very hardworking. She's engaged and she's able to persevere through problem solving situations. Elena is always kind and smiling. 
She's actively participating in our Google Meets and offers help and suggestions to her peers. And overall, I think she's been very successful in the challenges of our current educational environment and is a remarkable young woman. Congratulations, Elena. Hello, I nominated Gavin Wolf for January Student of the Month. I had Gavin first semester for Enhanced PE when we were 100% online. I nominated Gavin for many reasons, one being his work ethic. He was always prompt and his work was of the highest quality and he was always consistent. Gavin was respectful to myself, he was respectful to peers, and he was always willing to lend a helping hand to those in need. Keep up the good work, Gavin. Kaylee works very hard in all of her classes. She ended the semester with all A's and many of her grades were 100%. She always gets her work done ahead of time and is often looking for more work to do in the classroom. She is an active participant in classroom discussions and her caring nature and personality allow her to work well with others. I am certain that Kaylee is going to continue to do great and creative things in her future. Lindsay Kaworski and I teach math. Um, I nominated Gavin Brakovich for the math department student of the month. Um, Gavin I have in my algebra one class seventh hour. Um, he is always paying attention. He's not afraid to ask a question if he doesn't understand something. He always has his homework done on time um, and I just really appreciate all of his hard work um, especially through this remote learning, which is new to all the students, let alone being a freshman coming into all of this. So keep up the good work, Gavin, um, and we'll have a good rest of the year. Angelo, on behalf of the ACC and Mrs. Rakowski, I would like to congratulate you on being selected as ACC Student of the Month for the month of January. In short, you lead by example. You are an exemplary young man who has shown yourself to care about the young children that you've taken care of for the past two years. And you've also shown yourself to be an excellent friend and colleague with the students in your class. You've chosen to give of yourself and to help them, to make them better and to make yourself better in the process. We congratulate you, we wish you well, and we know that in the near future, we'll be hearing good things about the progress you've made in pursuing your career in life. God bless you and carry on. Along with Mrs. Jean Gans, I'm one of the Renaissance coordinators here at LaSalle Pru High School. This month, we would like to recognize Alina Allen as our Renaissance Student of the Month. Alina leads by example. Through her encouraging and positive demeanor, she can bring anyone into the group. Most recently, she led our display case update committee and they created a beautiful display case. While she did this, she coordinated with Mrs. Gans and myself to make sure the dates and the times worked with not only us, but with the students on the committee. She showed up with supplies and a plan. Within hours, everything was perfect. We're so lucky to have such an inclusive and positive role model in Renaissance, and we look forward to continue to work with her and see the leader that she'll develop into. She's already amazing. Congratulations, Alina. Hi, I'm Linda Hessenberger with Central Bank Illinois, and we're proud to sponsor the Renaissance Student of the Month by giving away a $50 Visa gift card. So I am gonna choose a name from all the nominees to receive the card. And it looks like Kaylee Archer is the lucky winner. So congratulations to all the students this month. Congratulations to this month's honorees. I feel privileged to be able to have the opportunity to honor so many excellent students. I am sure that parents, guardians, teachers, and the students themselves feel immense pride as they listen to their teachers share their qualities. I know I felt great pride as the principal. I would like to thank our sponsors. Your contributions are appreciated and valuable to making our program viable. I would also like to acknowledge our parents and guardians. Not only have you given us students who were prepared academically, 
You've also shared with us students who have qualities such as integrity, kindness, and strong work ethic. Thank you. I would also like to publicly thank our teachers for their devo devotion to our students and their work to help make them successful. And lastly, thank you to our students for your devotion. We appreciate all that you do to make LP a great school. Congratulations again on your well-deserved award.